All right, off to the gym. It's been an interesting week so far. <clears throat> Just started really, I think, what day is it? Wednesday? Shit, it's Wednesday already. Well, the week is kind of well underway then. This happens every time, I lose track of the days, like instantly, before you know it, it's Friday. So yesterday, I made an interesting offer to an old business partner of mine. I offered them to buy into my New Zealand business, Dealify, because they're based in New Zealand, which is a huge advantage at the moment, and they are very good at what they do. Very good at what they do. So having them on the team would be a massive asset to the business. And we built a business before that I left last year. And together we make a very good team. So hopefully we can work out a deal there and he joins the team because that will be awesome. And it kind of is a good topic to talk about as, as co-founders because there's definitely an appeal to doing everything yourself. I think a lot of a lot of first-time founders want to do it all themselves because they want to keep all the keep their whole pie together essentially. But then there's that saying that I don't know if it's a saying, but I've heard it many times. So it must be a saying. It's better to have like. It, it's better to have 50% of something that gets really big than 100% of something that makes zero dollars, right? And that's, that's basically, you can keep the whole thing yourself and basically fuck around and get nowhere. Or you could partner with someone who can help you and give away a piece of the pie and ultimately be successful and then your piece of the pie is actually worth something so I'm I'm a big fan of co-founders I've got co-founder on the Vexa and that has just been massive because I've been doing the Vexa for, for many years now and I would have gone insane without a co-founder not being able to bounce ideas not being able to have someone there fighting alongside you essentially in the trenches. It'll be, it's all, even with the co-founder, it's extremely lonely and isolating because no one else really understands what you're going through. And even other business owners um, can struggle to understand the type of business so with Navexa being a an online SaaS business, that is very unique and specific challenges, unique terminology and acronyms and jargon. There's a lot of uniqueness about it that someone say is running like a, a physical shop um, wouldn't relate to, and vice versa, I think. So. It is very isolating, so with a co-founder, it just makes the whole thing better. And it's just, personally, I like doing things in a team, I like team sports. When I play, when I used to play online games, I'd only do it when I was playing with people I knew as a team. The whole team aspect is just exciting to me, you know, working together to make something bigger than what you could have done just by yourself. So big fan of co-founders, so hopefully I can score myself what will probably be a co-founder in that business as well. And I think if he doesn't accept, unfortunately I'll have to, the search will continue, but it'll be tricky because everyone beyond that will be someone I don't know. and. That's not something I've done yet, is find a co-founder who I don't know. So far it's always been people I know. 
with one of my first businesses called Trade Your Phone, which was a phone reselling business. My co-founder was my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife. So her and I did all the business stuff together. So And that was great as well, because it was... I had someone to talk to about it. She understood what I was going through and vice versa because we were doing it together. And the extra help and support means you can delegate roles and, and get things done without <coughs> having to do it all yourself. And then I had co-founders on another startup I was doing, Bumble Metrics, which was predated the Bumble dating app but that was all about fitness tracking data it was too early on that one still be a great idea today but yes here we are so pulling up at the gym gonna go in have a good session hope you have a good day and on that note get after it